been to the NIT two other times in school history, so it's a great opportunity for us. Uh, you know, we want to build this program in a consistent top 50 program. Uh, we're, we're getting close. We've definitely, you know, over the past three years, we've elevated a couple of steps. And we want to continue in that direction, so we have an opportunity to take another step forward, and hopefully uh, we'll show up and play our best basketball what BYU does. Have you looked at them uh, and how many games and, and, and what strikes you first? Well, I've watched uh, I've watched their Gonzaga game live and then I've watched a little bit on video last night and early today. I think they're very similar to uh, St. Mary's and Loyola Marymount, somewhere in between those two teams. They have great inside presence. They've got two really good shooters. Uh, it's going to be a game where we're going to have to play great defense in order to win. But I think we have to defend inside. We have to do a great job on their big fella because he's one of the the best post players in, in, in the country. Uh, you've mentioned a couple times the depth of this team um, and how that's that's been an asset to you this year. That's that's really going to be tested without your second leading scorer. So, so who are a couple names that, that need to come in there and step up, step up uh, in the first round? Sure, well, Kalen Wilson's uh, obviously the next man up. Uh, Kalen, I've said from day one as a starter that we bring off the bench. Uh, he had an opportunity against Texas State. He'll be more in rhythm and flow in this game. It'll be a second opportunity to start. Uh, he's a guy that can really drive the basketball. Uh, he's, he's a playmaker. He can create offense with his defense. So uh, I, I think we'll see a better Caleb Wilson than uh, what we saw in the Sun Belt Tournament. And then I think another guy, Nathan Hawkins, is a guy that'll probably play a few more minutes. Uh, Nate is a guy that's uh, an unbelievable passer, great feel for the game, gets the ball exactly where it needs to go, and uh, I think he'll step up and play big for us as well. Well, obviously, when we lost in the Sun Belt Tournament, it feels like the season is over with. Everybody has that empty feeling. It uh, feels like your whole world has collapsed, but now they've had a day and a half, you know, to let that feeling sink in and put it behind them. And it's almost like you have a second chance. Uh, there's only, I don't know, 100 and some teams that have postseason play. We have an opportunity to play in the NIT, which is a great tournament. Uh, it's going to be super competitive, and it's a second chance. So they need to remember that feeling before the game, and hopefully that will inspire them to play great defense. Because I think that's where we came up short in the Sun Belt Tournament, is we didn't play our best defense. And that, that's disappointing, because we can control our defense. We can't always control whether the ball goes in the basket.